something like that. Let's put a gun bar. Go on, huh? This is middle. You light up stuff, huh? Across the road, there's a little uh, across the water, little town of San Remo here. Now in the uh, in the 1820s, the early 1800s, folks, poultry was tried on Phillip Island, but to uh, not really any great uh, well, it makes extent. Very difficult for agriculture. So in the 1840s, two brothers, the McAfee brothers, took out the first pastoral lease so they wanted to get the island, land. the bush and scrub, because they wanted to use it for grazing land for their cattle. You can see the. Uh, Mas que esse vídeo passou. Eu vou brucar do ano agora em série.
bark when he's working sheep or cattle, but he's quite capable of barking, but he doesn't have to, he can move the stock. Um, when I say he's a purebred short hair border collie, he's from the working strain, so there is a difference between these and ones you've got to have as a pet. They can't work at all, well, you can't make them. These ones you've got to tone them down a bit. And uh, especially when they're younger, that's uh, the half brother there, um, that's Logo and Billy's around for their 12 months old. Yeah. Average life. Ah. Heck of a long dive for a 30 centimetre bird. Let's not forget they are birds, not fish. So it's quite an extraordinary dive. And also, the length of time they spend at sea can vary. As I mentioned, particularly during breeding season, it's pretty much on a daily basis. But as the winter months come around and their food heads further out to sea, they have to head further out to sea and travel longer distances to find that food. So the longest time recorded at sea by any penguin down here was around about 26 days. Now imagine if you're a little 30 centimetre bird out in the ocean for 26 days. You're going to have to sleep somehow, aren't you, somewhere. 